shouting shame on China, supporters of China's Uyghur minority marched through the streets of Washington. More than 100 people turned up to protest what they say is China's brutal suppression of their friends and relatives in the western province of Xinjiang. Rabia Kadir is a Uyghur and an advocate for her people. We want to be the voices of Uyghurs that are dying in Urumqi, in Xinjiang. We want to be their voices. We want to get their point across. We want to get their message across to you. Chinese officials have blamed Kadir for the violence in western China, where Muslim Uyghurs have clashed with Han Chinese, the country's dominant ethnic group. Chinese authorities say 156 people died Sunday when Uyghurs took to the streets to protest a brawl between Han Chinese and Uyghurs in Guangdong last month. On Tuesday, Muslim women sobbed in the streets and argued with riot police. Han Chinese men wielded clubs, shovels and knives. Also on Tuesday, the government declared a curfew. Fascist China! Fascist China! Meanwhile, Kadir says the official casualty figures are too low. Do you think out of all those demonstrations and violence, only people who died are 156? I don't think so. I believe that the upper number is 1,000, the lower number is 500. Kadir spent close to six years in a Chinese prison before being released in 2005 and coming to the United States. Uyghur people consider me as their mothers and the leader of their democratic movement, and I will continue to lead them. Kadir's daughter was also at the demonstration. Um, my mother was in prison for six years, my father for ten years, all for political reasons. I, I haven't seen the rest of my family in you know, over a decade, so I am an Uyghur, and this is the perspective I can give you. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.